Hello my lovelies! Today I'm going to be making pinto beans, but not just any pinto beans because let's face it, I never do anything ordinary, right? So we like to eat beans, but we don't want to eat just plain old beans or plain old beans and rice. So we're always looking for a way to jazz them up. Am I right? So what I've done today, and I'll go through it and let's see if you like it and you want to try it out. I've soaked my beans and to be honest, these soaked two days, not one, because I got really busy yesterday and so I didn't cook them. So they soaked two days. You can do them a minimum of eight hours. What I like to do is soak, put them in to soak at night, cook them the next morning. And as I said, I meant to do that. That didn't happen, so they soaked an additional day. Now, I got a uh, shipment of soy curls in. So I'm going to use some soy curls in this and make it like a chili. Now, all I've done is this is probably a good oh cup cup and a half of dried soy curls and this was what was at the bottom I'd say one cup of the bag so um, the bags are eight ounce and um, this is just a little bit in the bottom just the little small pieces now I put them at the very bottom of my instant pot and I added a teaspoon of liquid smoke and a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce and then water to cover and I let them soak a good 15 minutes so that they are nice and soft okay and they're still in that soaking liquid and I'm just gonna leave that okay so that's the bottom of our instant pot now I'm gonna take my pinto beans which have been rinsed and rinsed and rinsed to get all that stuff out of their soaking liquid we're going to put those in. And this is just a one pound bag of pinto beans. Okay. And there you, there you have it. Now, I have got one can of no salt diced tomatoes and see they have the basil garlic and oregano in there oregano for those across the pond and i'm going to put those inside and i'm going to go ahead and just add water to that can to give it a good rinse make sure i get all of that and then i have half of a green bell pepper half of a red bell pepper half of an onion and if you watched my other video, the other halves of these went in that last recipe of those Gardein uh, veggie patties. So this is the other half of those. So you can see I filmed that first and now I'm making dinner. So that was lunch. This is dinner. And yes, I dropped an onion on the floor and I got to get that up because we can't have the doggies grabbing onto that. You know my house is full of dogs. Okay. Now, if I've said it once, I you've heard it ten times. We don't always get enough greens. So every opportunity I have to slip some of this baby spinach in, I'm going to do it. So I have just, with my handy dandy knife, chopped it really, really small. And that's just two big handfuls of those uh, baby spinach, just chopped up real good with my knife. And I had intended to put a cup of rice, but I don't think it's gonna fit once that cooks up. I'm gonna do about half a cup of that rice. Because I just don't think it's going to fit. I think it's going to make it too full once that cooks. And then we're going to do our spices. Let me find a measuring spoon. Okay, and this is my one tablespoon, okay? And I've got some onion powder. Because we want this to taste like a chili, right? So one tablespoon onion powder. 
one tablespoon chili powder, and you can use a little more if you want. Then I've got some ground cumin. And then some garlic powder. Okay, and then we've got some crushed red pepper. Now my daughter won't eat it if it's real spicy, but I want a little bit, and this is just a half teaspoon. Now if you don't have any young people and you want it spicier than that, feel free, add a little more. Then I'm just going to take, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just disregard all of my clean dishes over here waiting to dry, and I'm going to add water to the top, okay, and I basically just put that water to the max line, almost to the max line. So you can see on this side, that's where my max line is, and it's about that far below that max fill line. And let's get a spoon. We're going to stir those spices down into the water. And what will happen with an instant pot if you don't stir those spices in is they have a tendency to just kind of cook at the top of the cooking liquid instead of being incorporated down into your food. And see, by adding all these veggies and a little bit of grain, I have taken what would have basically just been beans and made it a full meal. And those little bits of soy curl down in the bottom will make it feel like there's meat in there. So if you've got people who are transitioning, they'll appreciate that. Now this recipe can be adjusted for a slow cooker um, and I would do a minimum of six hours on high or eight on low if you want to do it in a slow cooker or you can just put it in a big uh, Dutch oven pan you know with a lid and cook it on the stovetop if you don't have either one of these. And then for my instant pot, make sure you've set it to seal and you've checked your seal ring around. And then I'm going to do this for 20 minutes. Now it takes a good 10 minutes to come up to pressure, but in half an hour, my dinner's going to be done. It'll automatically just kick over to warm and it'll keep it warm until the family comes home and they're ready to eat it. If you like my recipes, give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. We all need these tips and tricks because we're all on this journey together. And if you have any comments or questions, Put them down below. Have a good day, guys.